Greetings my YouTube friends. Today I have a review of the A6 Giulio Apunto, which I'm using as a Hobonichi cover but can actually fit any A6 notebooks. Um, today is the last day of June. Now yesterday, last night our time about 10pm, there was a restock of the Apuntos and we were all so excited to actually, because we'd been waiting such a long time, these have been so popular or so long awaited and um, the website sort of crashed and we haven't been able to place any orders at all. But in the meantime, um, I thought I would actually do this review because I only got this the, the other day, um, last Friday. And with much thanks to Deb, one of my Julio sister, sisters on the Facebook group, and I set it up uh, earlier this week, and I've been using it most of this week, and I thought it might be helpful if you're on the fence about what this is really about. Um, I thought it may be helpful to just do a quick review and let you know how I'm using it and, and how it's working for me. Of course, anyone who who owns a Gilio leather product knows that Gilio products are really second to none. I've given up on pretty much any other brand of planner, whether it be Ringbound, Hobonichi, whatever it is. I've literally given up because th this is my preferred feel, it's my preferred touch, it's nothing else actually comes close to Gileo for me so while I'm really frustrated with the website um, I you know I'm prepared to wait it out and as many others are as well because this is a product you kind of just need to have you want to have all the rest of it the leather itself is just amazing and I think most people I would even say 99.9% of people once you get a Julio product for the first time you understand what the hype is all about and there is something particularly special for me about the leather it's the feel it's um, it's the look it's also the, the quality of the product itself and how it's made it all combines to make this incredibly luscious planner cover, ring binder, whatever you want to call it, um, whatever you might be wanting, it just makes it the must-have kind of thing. Well, for me anyway, I've just given up on everything else. Julio, I'm just a Julio person and um, I wish I could buy a whole heap more, um, but I can't. But anyway, so the Apunto, uh, Teresa Hall, um, worked in collaboration with Julio to design the um, a cover for the Hobby Nietzsche. Um but it does actually fit all A6 kind of notebooks. The A5 would equally fit um, other A5 notebooks so it isn't a Hobby Nietzsche cover as such but a lot of us are using it as a Hobby Nietzsche cover. Um, what I love about Julio, and especially this one, is the popper. I'm going to tell you a story <coughs> because it's quite, it, it, it makes me smile. Every time I pop this, it makes me smile. And the reason being is because it's not just the sound of the popper. It evokes a personal memory for me of my children when we were doing long trips in the car from Melbourne to Sydney and uh, to visit relatives and, um, you know, that's a lot of hours in the car. And my kids love the Shrek movies. And in one of the movies, Donkey's sitting in the back and he's really bored on a long trip and he starts this making this popping sound with his lips. Drives Shrek crazy. But my kids thought it was wonderful. And I remember hours where my kids would just giggle at the sound of their own popping noises with their lips. And it's just something that yeah it just makes me smile and when I hear this that's what it reminds me of and it just takes me back um, to a 
yeah, to a really wonderful memory. So that's just a personal um, kind of story um, that this evokes for me. Now, what I have in here, how the Apunto is essentially set up is a credit card uh, holders on this side. There's four credit card holders and there's an additional little pocket down here which I haven't yet filled. There is a, a pocket here which I'm using for cash. There's also a pocket here which I'm using for lots of different things. Um, then you go to the back and this is where you slip your notebook in. Now I've slipped in my Hobonichi but I've also cut down um, a notebook and I'm just using it as a bit of a brain dump um, before I actually put it in here in my planner. So you know that's working for me actually quite well. There's a little pocket in the back here which I'm using for business cards. Uh, there's a zipper pocket here which I'm actually using um, for some on oh, my footy fixture card and some Hobonichi stencils um, when I'm actually purchasing something I will while I get, if I get a receipt or if I get coins I literally just shove them all in here it actually keeps it quite all quite tight and when I get home I empty it out of course the signature for Julio is there um, back pocket and I've got all manner of things in here such as uh, checks I've got a bank, bills I've got to claim, medical bills I've got to claim, um, things like that so it is really handy to have this back pocket and that is actually what sets this apart to pretty much any other kind of A6 notebook cover um, quite apart from the quality and the leather itself it is this back pocket that allows such um, a variation in uses for this type of cover. So having this as a wallet and a notebook it's absolutely fantastic. Now there is a pen loop. I tend to use the Hobonichi pen because it's beautiful on my paper and I just hook it in otherwise it just it's a bit of an effort to get it in even though this is elastic elasticized um, if I was using my preferred Julio fountain pen beautiful it would just slide in there like butter but because I'm using one of these pens it's got a rubber grip on it and anything with a rubber grip I find just really is an effort to get in so I tend to just hook them over the pen loops rather than try and shove them in Plus it does stretch the leather if I'm putting in a big pen because if I want to switch to a smaller pen later on I've stretched the leather in trying to shove it in. So that's why I choose to do it that way. Of course being a, a notebook cover it also has these wonderful um, bookmarks with the cute little round leather ends on them which I think are just beautiful. Uh, and that's how I'm using it. So that's pretty much my A6 Hobonichi cover, which is the Giulio Apunto. And I adore it. I absolutely love it. This is dark brown. Um, I would love a dark brown cream, just saying. But this is gorgeous. And what I love about this too is that here, I'm not sure if you can see it, um, but this is really grainy and pebbly. This is quite smooth. Uh, it has the Giulio Apunto stamp uh, on the inside as well. So this is really pebbly as well. I love the variation in the leather. It is just gorgeous. This is smooth, but yet it's going into grainy. So obviously this cow's hide must have been, I don't know, but it just goes from smooth to to, to pebbly so I wonder if it's from the underside to the exposed side or something who knows I don't know it's like anyway that's I'm rambling okay so there you have it and there's my pop sound okay Julio Apunto if you're on the fence about it please do not be you won't be disappointed and um, I hope Julio do get their website up and running again because I'm desperate to order the A5 and do you know what I had one in my cart and I cancelled the order because 
I thought there was VAT included and I thought I hadn't clicked something that I should have so I thought I'll start again. That was a big mistake. But anyway, heart goes out to the Julio people because you're, I'm sure you're working overtime trying to get that website up and running uh, because, and yeah, every success, you just, you guys just have products that are, are wonderful. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.